I like Wales. Wales is cool. Everybody should come to Wales now. My name is David Verde. I'm a surfer, a paddleboarder. I love the water. I live in Virginia, and I am the host of Facing Waves. On this trip of Facing Waves, we headed to Wales, which is just west of England in the UK. On the first day, we landed in London, and then we took a bus about two hours west to Cardiff Bay, and met up with Dan and Elaine from Big Blue Adventures. Hey guys. Hey David, Dan. Nice to meet you. Dan? Hiya, hi. So we've got loads of activities, but we really have four main activities. Um, they are surf, sup, coast steering and canning. Um, all water based because we love the coast, we love rivers. We like to take people and just make them realise, you know what, adventure has no age limit. It's all about good vibes really. Good vibes all the way. It does, so cheaply. <laughs> <laughs> it is though, that's what we always say. I don't say good vibes all the way. Wales is perfect for adventure travel because you've got beautiful coastlines. You'll see sights you could never imagine. So we took David to Vosilia Bay, which is my absolute favourite beach in Wales. I really love it. This is the best view in Wales, in my opinion anyway. In the world, um, in the world yeah. <laughs> We headed to Rosilly Bay, and when you get there from the parking lot, you walk up to the cliff's edge. It's absolutely beautiful because the coastline just opens up. Rosilly Bay is voted one of the top beaches in the world. It was just a wonderful start to our trip here in Wales. We took this really cool paddle up to Worm's Head. It's a really beautiful stretch of coastline. It's um, been known from ancient sailors like your Vikings and all that. And on a pretty kind of gnarly conditions, you've got this blowhole and it kind of looks like this big sort of scary web, so they kind of get freaked out by this. We saw loads of seals just popping next to our board. It must have been like the magical day for seals because these seals were like really into our paddle boards. They kept coming up, they were curious, they popped their heads up. It was really cool. And then we subsurfed back and Dan and I fell on our faces. <laughs> it was a perfect, perfect day really. Sun was being down on us and when you got that sort of day and conditions in Wales, you, you know, you can't beat it. It's, it's really, really beautiful. Oh man, that was breathtaking. Off to Pembrokeshire to Coastier. Oh, just up over the hill, down your right. You see a sheep, its wool is made underwear for the prince. It's just what the queen says, you know, she just prefers the prince in itchy unders. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody sees this from Wales, they're gonna be like, we hate that guy, David. He just does a rubbish accent. It doesn't sound like anything from our island. All right, Dan, good to see you again. Yeah. So we took David Coast Earring in Pembrokeshire, the birthplace of Coast Earring, with our buddy Pete Ward of the Real Adventure Company. No better guy on the planet for Coast Earring in our eyes. He is like a big man child, everyone feeds off his energy. My name's Pete Ward. I'm from Pembrokeshire in Southwest Wales. I run the Real Adventure Company. Okay, um, so have any of you Coast Earring before? No, have you got any ideas what it is? So Coast Earring is an adventure sport that was developed in Pembrokeshire. It's an, ad an adventurous exploration of the coastline operating in the intertidal zone, so between high water and low water. It's a combination of rock climbing, scrambling over the rocks, wild swimming and jumping off stuff. To sum it up, I'd say it's basically mucking about in the sea. It's your chance to do everything your parents say don't do at the coast. Be doing it in a safety of like a really experienced instructor like Pete. You will hear people talk about co-steering and all the things you were told not to do as a child. But when I was a child, I was told to do all these things. From my experience, it's a brilliant way of introducing people to water sports, developing their confidence, not only in their physical ability, but just gives them this sense of well-being as well. For me, the most fun to do is to jump off the cliffs. I always get a little bit scared because I am scared of heights. So I just love how you're pushing your boundaries. Conditions were a little bit choppy, which you want for coast areas. We're playing around in the swell, jumping off, you know, some pretty decent jumps. It was sunset, the atmosphere was perfect, and we had such a good laugh. You couldn't pick a better location. It's where the Atlantic Ocean first makes landfall after two or three thousand miles. So it's fully exposed to what, what's happening out in the Atlantic. 
because a lot of the time it's nice and calm and beautiful and gentle. Other days there's huge amounts of energy unleashed on our coastline and this is what gives us our unique and rugged coast. It's the perfect natural playground.